Hi guys, this is Teacher Valentine and today is our very very first online class. I hope you guys all are doing fine and do you miss me? Because I really really miss you and I hope I'll see you in real life very very soon. But today, for now, let's begin. Let's begin our class and today we will be learning Nouns and type of nouns in your book that's on the page number 24. Nouns. Please look at the screen. What can you see here? Different people, right? Boy, teacher, nurse, and Man, all these are names of people, right? Boy, teacher, nurse, and man. All these are names of people. The next picture school buildings, hospital, airport, and market. They are names of places. They are names of places, right? School, hospital, airport, market. Look at this picture. Lion, dog, snake and bird. They are names of animals. Lion, dog, snake, bird, bear, panda. They are all names of animals, right? Book. Table, maybe knife, maybe flower, or maybe cup, maybe phone. They are names of things. They are names of things. We call all these names are nouns. We call all these names are nouns. So, Nouns are names of person, place, animal, and thing. For example, person, girl, place, school, animal, cat, and thing. Let's say bicycle. So, nouns are names of person, place, animal, and thing. Now, I'd like to ask you to do this exercise. I'd like to ask you to do this exercise. You can see names of nouns, cat, boy, house, king, butterfly, computer, lion, chair, frog, girls, spoon, and doctor. And you see here the chart. So we have to put the names of nouns to the chart. What do we have here? Person, place, animal, and thing. The first one, cat. How do you think where I should put our noun cat? Person? No. Place? I don't think so. Animal? Of course. A cat is an animal. An animal. The next one? Boy. Boy. Place? No. Person, of course, person. And house, building. Of course, house is a place. House is a place. Next one, king. King. King is a person. King is a person. So, the column number one, person. Butterfly. Butterfly is an insect. It means 
Butterfly is an animal. Of course, butterfly is an animal. One, two, three. three. Column number three. Computer. Computer. Computer is a thing. Computer is a thing, right? The next one. Lion. 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 Oh. Lion is an animal, of course. Lion is an animal. Column number three. Chair. 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 How do you think? What's that? Chair is a thing, of course. Chair is a thing. The next one. Frog. Frog. Frog is an animal. Of course, frog is an animal. What about girl? Girl is an animal. No, of course not. Girl is a person. Girl is a person. Spoon. What about spoon? Spoon. We eat with spoon. What about spoon? Spoon is a thing, right? Doctor. Hmm. Doctor is an animal. No. Doctor is a person. Of course, doctor is a person. Okay, guys. Let's go. A noun can refer to one, only one, or more than one person, animal, Place or thing can refer to one or more than one, means two, three, five, one or more than one person, animal, place or thing. A noun that names only one person, animal, place or thing is called a singular noun, singular noun. A noun, one more time, that names one person, animal, place or thing is called a singular, singular, single, singular noun. For example, rat, knife, house, boy, cat, book. Means one rat, one house, one knife, one boy, one cat and one book. A noun that names more than one, more than one, okay? Two, three, four, person, animal, place or thing is called plural. I hope you guys remember it because we were talking quite a lot about it. Plural noun. For example, rats, not one, two, maybe three, maybe five, maybe even twenty. Rats, houses, knives. Boys, cats, and books. Look at the pictures, please. Here you can see. Singular noun. Only one. One rat, one house, one knife, and one boy. Plural, plural noun. One, two, three, four, five. So how many rats do we have here? They are five rats, plural noun, rats. How many houses do we have here? One, two, three. Three. Three houses. How many knives do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They are twelve knives. Knives. And boys. How many boys do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight boys. As you can see, most nouns take S to form the plural. Most of nouns. For example, book, one. To make it plural, we just add S at the end. Books, student. To make it plural, 
we add only one S at the end. Students, pencil, pencils, bag, bags. But when our nouns ending in S, double S, C, H, X, S, H, Z, and O, we have to add E, S, E, S to form the plural. So to make a plural, we have to add E, S at the end. For example, bus, buses, box, boxes, watch, watches, brush, brushes, mango, man mangoes, peach, peaches. Please remember it. Don't worry, guys, you have, you have it on the page number 27, the very last box. If the noun ends in a consonant plus Y consonant, what is consonant? B, C, D, F, G, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, W, V, X, and Z. They are consonant. So, plus Y, we have to change Y to I, E, S. For example, country, countries, family, families. One more time. Don't worry, guys. You have... All the information in your book some nouns you can change by adding s or es at the end you just can't change some nouns so you just have to please guys remember them for example child the plural form as children, food, feet, mouse, one, mice, three, four, five, ox, oxen, tooth, teeth. We have countable and uncountable nouns and we were talking about it last semester and i hope you guys remember it so let's refresh our memory countable nouns are for things we can count using numbers countable nouns are for things we can count using numbers so Look, please, at the picture above. Look at the picture above, here. How many apples can you see? How many apples can you see? How many bananas? And how many tomatoes? Let's count. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Five apples. How many bananas? One, two, three, four. Four bananas. And count one, only one tomato. Please remember that countable nouns, they have singular one tomato and plural form. Tomatoes, one apple, three apples one banana four bananas countable nouns they have a singular and a plural form let's take a look to the so that's my right your probably left uncountable nouns uncountable nouns are for things that we can't count with numbers. We cannot count with numbers. 
and they remember they have no plural form they have no plural form look at the picture above look at the picture above here the blue one there is some bread in a basket cheese on the plate and milk in the jug right we cannot count bread itself we cannot count bread itself we usually say loaf of bread but we can count pieces or slices of bread uh, we cannot count cheese, right? We cannot count cheese, but we can count pieces of cheese. When we cut it, we can count pieces of cheese, but the whole cheese we can't count. And we cannot count milk, but we can count jugs of milk or bottles of milk or cups of milk. Okay? So far so good? Other examples of countable nouns. Other examples of countable nouns. Look, book. I can count, right? Here, look at the picture. One book. I have one book. You have three books. One, two, three. Can I count? Yes. Pen. Pens. I have got only one pen. Do I have a pen here? No. So, I have got only one pen. My mother has got four pens. I can count it, right? One, two, three, four. Sister, sisters. I have, teacher Valentine has only one sister. But my uncle has three sisters. Can I count? Yes. Here are some examples of uncountable nouns. Look, please at the picture. Water. I can count water, but I can count glasses of water. Salt. Can I count salt? Like one, two. No, can't. So, salt, rice, milk. I can count coffee. I can count butter. I can count meat. I can't count. And love, feelings. I can't count too. And do you remember, guys, that we use how many for countable nouns when we want to ask some question about countable nouns, we use how many. For example, how many apples are there on the table? We can count, right? So we ask how many apples are there on the table? And the answer will be there are five apples on the table and we use question how much with uncountable noun money we can count money right like all money in the world we can't count so how much money do you need i need hundred but i need hundred but and please don't forget that we use there is and they are. There is and there are with singular and there are with plural nouns. So there are five apples. Plural noun, there are five apples. Or there is one apple on the table with singular one more example there is one book there are one two three books there is there are one more time grammar check there is we use with singular noun there is a book on the desk. There are, plus plural noun, there are books on the desk. There is 
we use with uncountable noun. Please, 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 please remember this. We use there is with uncountable noun because uncountable noun, one more time, uncountable nouns, they just don't have plural form, right? As I said before, so we use there is. There is some milk in the fridge. So far so good? Here guys, your homework. Your homework. Page number 29. Page number 29, exercise number 3. Write the different nouns in the box under the correct column. We have two, column, two columns, countable nouns and uncountable nouns. And you have 20 nouns. So you have to write the nouns in the box under the correct column, okay? For example, boy. I can count, right? So, boy would be countable noun. And now, guys, I'd like to do one exercise with you. There is or there are. How do you think? There is many apples in a basket or there are many apples in a basket. Let's check. There are. Of course, there are. We can count, right? And we have lots of apples here. There is nobody in the island or there are nobody on the island. Mm. There is. That's correct. There is a library in my school or there are a library in my school. Library. Is that plural or singular? Of course, singular. And if it's singular, we use there is a library in my school. There is many leaves on the ground or there are many leaves. Leaves. Plural. So we use there are. Very good. There is a detective spying my garden. Well, there are a detective. Detective, only one. So, there is a detective. There is two astronauts on the moon. Or, there are two astronauts on the moon. There are two, of course. Very good. There is a girl, only one, under the palm tree. But there are. There is, of course, because we can see only one girl. Three kids playing with leaves. Three kids. Two, three. There is a, there are. Of course, there are three kids. A boy sitting on books. One boy, there is a boy sitting on books. How many boys can you see here? One, two. So two boys near the snowman. There are two boys near the snowman. Yay! Very good. There is or there are. How many? One, two. So there are 
many pupils in my classroom. There are many pupils in my classroom. There is or there are a treasure on the island. A treasure. There is a treasure on the island. Yay! For today, guys, we finished. I hope that my lesson was very useful for you. And I'd like to ask you to do a homework. Your homework will be one second. Excuse me. So your homework will be on the page number 29, number 29, exercise number 3. Write the different nouns in the box under the correct column. Countable nouns and uncountable nouns. We have 30 words and we have to choose countable and uncountable nouns and put it in the right column. Next, exercise 4 on the page number 30. Exercise 4 on the page number 30. What do you have to do here? Here you have to write the correct plural form of the nouns. Correct plural form of the nouns. For example, I saw two children under the tree. Two children under the tree. And finally, exercise number five on the page number 31. Exercise number five on the page 31. I hope, guys, I will see you soon in real life. Take care of yourself and I miss you very much and see you next time. Bye-bye.